Tulsa police say a selfie could be the clue that leads them to the people who targeted a 77-year-old man. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rozzi. You just saw two pictures. Here they are again. Police are calling the, pe the people in these pictures right here persons of interest in the theft case. And new at 9, Fox 23, Sarah Whaley is live after talking with the victim and police about what happened. Sarah. Shay, they say it all has to do with the infamous iCloud. And if you have a stolen cell phone and you don't log out of iCloud, then it's probably not a great idea to take selfies. John Acton moved to Tulsa in 1948, nearly 70 years later. Times change. It's just dumb on my part. Just I never think about locking things up. His surveillance video shows what happened. Ecton was mowing his backyard while a thief was rummaging through his unlocked truck in the front yard. Inside were his phone and wallet. When he realized what had happened, he first notified police, and then he headed to the store. I had to go get a new iPhone. And uh, the iPhone was backed up by iCloud. So when Acton signed into the iCloud on his new phone, you can imagine his surprise. So it's this big bro right here. When he saw this video of three strangers. What did you think when you saw these pictures and well, video of random people? I, I'm thinking this is not too smart. They're not the, they're not the brightest people going. It wasn't just his cell phone that was used. Police say someone also used his credit cards here at SK Food Mart. Acton says he's learned his lesson, and while he has come to terms with the fact that he isn't getting his stuff back, he says he does hope that someone out there can identify these persons of interest so police can get to the bottom of who's at fault for the crime. And police say this iCloud video isn't the only lead they have. That's good news. On Fox 23 News at 10, I'm working on a story on what else they're doing to crack the case. Reporting live here in East Tulsa, covering news that matters. Sarah Whitley, Fox 23 News.